Hi there, you are on the Motopress YouTube channel. My name is Valerie. This video is part of a series of lessons and workshops about blog themes and site editor. If you're new here, welcome. Today, I'll show you how to create a sidebar in the site editor and then add it to your template. This video is more like a practical part. We also have a theoretical part on our channel covering the main principles of working with blog-based sidebars. So that's why I'd recommend you watch that video first and then proceed with this workshop. But if you're ready for the practice straight away, let's get into it. If your WordPress blog theme doesn't include a sidebar, or if you want to add more sidebars, you can add them easily. Before we start, you will need to make sure your WordPress version has been updated to 5.9 or the latest version. You will also need a blog theme installed and activated on your website. This type of theme supports the site editor, and the site editor gives you access to all your template parts, so you can build or customize them easily. As you see, my blog home template has a sidebar, and this is what it looks like. Unlike a single post, which has no sidebar, and which is actually the single post template. So I'm going to create a sidebar from scratch, particularly for this template, and place it right into it. So without further ado, let's begin. First, make sure you're logged into your website, and we are WordPress admin. Go to Appearance, Editor, This will take you to the site editor. After this, I'm going to make my way to patterns. Template parts are kept here too. So in the patterns interface, click on the plus icon and choose the option where it says create template part. After clicking this option, a pop-up window will appear with a general option already selected, so we don't have to change anything here. I just need uh, to provide a name for my sidebar, and then click on the Create button. Next, you will be presented with a blank screen, so-called Template Part Focus Mode with the name of your template part showing at the top of the screen uh, in the center. To start building my template part, I click on the plus sign and start adding knitted blocks one by one to achieve the desired layout of my sidebar. So now let's see what blocks I've just added inside my sidebar. I want to show you all the blocks. The list view will help me with that. So I've inserted a search box, categories list, of course, latest posts, social icons, a paragraph, and a button. I also have a separator block, but I'm still not sure whether I need it or not, so we'll see. Uh, later on, we'll see. Okay, now it's high time to save my newly created sidebar by clicking on the Save button. Perfect. Now, after saving, I see the preview screen of my sidebar. And it seems to me it looks rather nice. Uh, now I suggest getting back to the Patterns interface. And under the Template Part, uh, we see a new sidebar added to the list of general template parts on my site. Now we are heading 
two templates and among all the templates available on my site I'm choosing the single post template I've already shown you. Also taking the opportunity I want to remind you that you can use not only the templates that come bundled with your theme but also create your own custom templates. This is my single post template and to add a sidebar I click on edit. Now you're in the template editor and this is the structure of the template. Once again we see there is no sidebar only a header and footer areas and the content of course. By the way, uh, here it's also possible to replace the header uh, and footer, but today we only work with this sidebar. Between uh, the header and footer there are two group blocks. Obviously we need the second one. But now let's add the column block. After adding the columns, it's going to ask me what layout I prefer, so I need to decide where I want uh, the sidebar. I want the content to be on the left and the sidebar on the right. Uh, that's why I go with this option. So what's next? I'm using the list view again. I select the group block and drag and drop it into the left column. You're done when you see the line appears under the columns block. Great. Next, in the right column, I'll click the plus icon to add a template part block. Uh, here you can start building a new template part from scratch and this is one more way how to create a new template part right here in the template editor or you just choose the one that you already have. So I'm choosing the sidebar that I've just created. Excellent! Double check the list view that everything is in place and we can save changes. And now let's see the result. Before, as I've already shown you, my posts look like this with no sidebar, uh, which is the default layout for posts in the Prime FSC theme. Now that we've changed and saved the post template, it looks like this. The sidebar has appeared, but the layout looks rather awkward. Be ready for this, as your theme might have its predefined settings, uh, but I think uh, I have an idea of how to improve the design, so stay tuned. First I got rid the separator in the template part and what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to wrap my columns into the section block. So I put the columns into the section block. The section block is a top level parent container block by Gatwit, and this block provides you with a huge number of configuration settings. And Prime FSC ships with powerful blocks by Gatwit, so I knew that the section block with its default content area width uh, would do the job. So now Let's finally check the front end. Now looks perfect. I really like it. 
And here I must stress that in my case, uh, with my theme, the default width of the content area is 1160, the same as in the default section block settings. As a result, the section block is the perfect match. As you see, um, the content area's width plays a crucial role when working uh, with the layout. And if you use another theme, you might need another container block, or you won't need anything except for the columns and their settings. It all depends on the theme you're working with. Styles are more or less unique to each theme, and the dimensions initially come from your theme's theme.json file. Uh, that is to say, the elements inherit the default values from either theme.json or the style book. So please keep this in mind. So to wrap things up, sidebars add a lot of functionality to a WordPress website. Using the methods we've covered in this video, it's easy to create any sidebar you need. You can add sidebars to themes that don't have them, or you can also add a specific sidebar for certain pages or posts. So we want to hear from you. Have you added a sidebar in WordPress? Let us know about your experience in the comments. Also, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it for more WordPress-related tutorials. All you have to do is to click on that subscribe button. And of course, while you are at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Have a nice day.